Hey guys, just quickly, this first clip. Close your eyes if you don't like broken arms. It's not the prettiest picture. But this guy Fara from Austria, I mean, he is just incredible. This is his Tokui Waza, the Obitori Gaishi, and the front Uchimata. He's really, really good at it. Throws a lot of people with this technique. And recently, under 100s, he's just been demolishing everyone. And this is in the final against H and H, I mean, his arm got in a, in a bad spot, but they were all smiles afterwards. Hope his arm is okay. But anyway, a great point to start. Start the video. There's some big ones in this one. Some big Soresuri Komigoshis. Quite a lot of counters with the foot sweeps as well. And as always, a little bit of confusion with the rules. Also guys, I need your help. We're having a bit of a copyright issue at the moment. I'll put all the details of the situation in the comments below, but... Basically, demonetized videos are going to go for channel members only. Thanks to the current members for supporting the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel, hit that join button on the channel page. It's as low as I could possibly set it in terms of price. And you can cancel any time, so just sign up, support the channel, and if it's too much to ask, don't worry about it. Back to the judo now. So I'm starting to see a, a lot more counters like this. People controlling with the upper body and not having much, much to do with the legs. A lot of the times they wouldn't give this a score if they couldn't consider it a, a Kosoto Gake or an Ochigari, but I'm seeing a lot more of this now, which is good. This is Fara again. Almost identical to the first clip in this video, but this time throwing Katarina. And he is so incredibly good at this technique. It's crazy. A lot of people don't actually have this technique as their Tokui Waza, but he does. It's really nice. Jalo, one of the standouts for the French team now. Nice Kochi Ochi. And he's got really nice judo, lots of combinations from him. A great also Lugari as well, which he chains together with other things. This is one of the, the big Soresuri Komigoshis I was telling you about from Vanti End. He's definitely come back in recent times. I mean, that's huge, picture perfect. I can't remember the name of the kata, but this looks like how they do it in kata. It's like a stemiwaza kata they do where they kind of make their opponent go upright and then you know, drop the foot. Another one of those massive so days for you. Pay attention to the stance switch and the break of the grip at the same time. I mean, come on. Doesn't get better than that. This next one really impressed me. I mean, a lot of the time in Japan, they, they say to, you know, make a triangle or face your opponent as if it's kind of uchikomi. But just how he stepped in front of his opponent really allowed him to develop the power for the technique. I mean, that was... Beautifully done. Bit of a sleeve battle here. And then the counter Ashiwaza. Counters the Kochi with an Ashibarai. You know, you kind of wonder, was Talibov, was he waiting for this? The judoka and white Talibov. I mean, he's not been aggressive with his right hand. And then, I mean, he could have been waiting for it, but that's a, that's a really sneaky thing to do. You know, I might be able to get a Sode Suri Komigoshi. Highlight just out of this video alone. I think this is the third one now. Exceptional stuff. Blue was looking for the top grip, but White, he already had the grip, so he controlled the hands. I like this bit of judo from Shemailov. Just controlling his opponent. Good breaking balance. Sometimes he uses a lot of strength in his techniques, but this was just all about technique and timing. Sendo Chu now. And look, he takes his left hand, and it's in the perfect position for a Seoinage. He barely had the sleeve. But watch him just set his hands, got his left hand, and now he's just waiting for the sleeve. And honestly, he barely had it. But at the highest levels, I mean, they don't need much. They just need a finger or two on the gi. Here's another Seoinage from Sendocho. A little bit of movement involved in this one. Really looks like Unchan Nim, to be honest. And it's sneaky because... He's got low posture, and then he's high posture, and then he's dropping down for the Seiwinage. So confusing his opponent with his posture there. I don't know who this is from the French team. Ahibo? But just a really well executed Uranage here. Seeing a lot of the French guys doing a lot of Uranage recently, especially these younger guys that they've, you know, recently started to send out more for the team. Really liking the French team right now. And a little bit of a pop quiz for you guys. How many men for France took a medal at the last Olympics in Tokyo? The answer is two. It was Makidze down at under 60, and then of course Teddy Rania at plus 100s.
bit of a spinning Tayotoshi here. Watch the angle of Blue's supporting leg. You can just see how much he's pulling. Look at that. He's on like a 45 degree angle. You don't see that very often. You see you see that with Ashiguruma a lot, but not really with a Tayotoshi. This one here, I kept it in the video. The Judoka in white, he loses for bear hugging. Similar thing happened to Koga recently, but as you can see, both hands, they go on at, at the same time around the back, whether it be over the arms or under the arms, but that's considered bear hugging and not allowed in Judo. Although, I disagree with this. I think, I think they should bring it back, allow it. I mean, this one here, it's very similar. I'm pretty sure they just give it to him because it's a counter, but if you have a look at Wonka's hands in white, he loses the grip here, goes for the counter, and in my opinion, it's very similar to the same thing before. Looks like bear hugging, but no Shido given, so I don't know, maybe you can bear hug if you're countering? Not too sure. Probably the best piece of Ashiwaza from the tournament, from Malai. I mean, that was just timed perfectly. Just looked like he was walking forward, but no. He was setting up a nice piece of Ashiwaza. I really like this one too. I like the kind of procedural nature of it, taking his grips, walking him in the direction he wants him to go. And he's got the, the, the other grip. One grip led to the next, kind of like Iliadis, you know? Iliadis was all about, you know, gripping sequences. Bit of Nawaza for you guys now. And I did get a comment the other day that there's not much Nawaza in these videos. I do not include all the Nawaza. There is a lot of Nawaza epons, but I feel like some of them, we've seen them a lot. I like to include transitions, but if it's something that we've seen, something textbook, I generally don't include it, just because, you know, we've seen it before. Someone might say, well, you know, we've seen all the same stuff in Tachiwaza before as well, but I don't know. I like the little intricacies in the Tachiwaza, all the little different things that people do. And come on, in Judo, we're all here for the throws, right? Right? Here, White almost gets the counter, but no, got to give it. Kochimaki Kumi to blue, drops down here, doesn't throw the leg across but there's enough control with the hands. Big Uchimata coming up, and on the outside of the mats but I mean, it's a continuous attack, hand around the back there. A lot of Europeans like this grip, they like to get close for the Uchimata, where I think Japanese fighters generally like space, they like enough space to run their hips through people. This is a technique I've been working on recently. Not this grip though, this is a very awkward grip on the belt. But just this, you know, you're a right-handed fighter and you've got that hand kind of around the belt area doing a left-sided orgoshi like this. I think it's a really good weapon to have in the arsenal. Lightning quick Seoinagi here. A lot of people, they'll put their first hand on the lapel but this is the one thing that can really get you People jumping in for a Seoinagi like that. Otherwise, you know, first hand on the lapel is generally a pretty pretty good offensive and defensive move to do. Great Ipon, Seoinagi here. This is Reyes from Canada in white. And just watch the combinations he puts together. Ohuchi to Kosoto. And then moves with his opponent, turns in for the Uchimata. Really beautiful stuff. This next one, I think Aaron Wolf made this popular. Doing Ochigari on the one side and pushing down on that one side. Usually for an Ochigari, you want their balance going on that foot you're reaping. But this, they're doing the opposite way. Still works, it's great. This one, I want to see more. More like this, I want to see people get punished more for sacrifice throws. Great, Kosoto Gake. I think this grip on the back around the shoulder really helped the Judoka in blue. Just gave him so much control, and White didn't like it, jumped down, and then just gets counted for it. This is beautiful stuff. Need to see more points given for bad sacrifice throws, I think. Jalo again now. Picking up Dewitt. And this is what I said about the French team. Kind of doing a lot of Uranagi these days. Wasn't really a thing of the French team back in the day, but... Looks like they've been working on it. And against the wit, I mean, it's just a perfect technique for someone so tall and lanky. Now this one here, this is how you need to do the bear hug in judo. He's already got one hand on, and then he feeds the hand. Ink Taiva now, blink you'll miss it. 
I mean, that was a uh, super fast. Siwi Otoshi. It's just amazing how people can do that sometimes. Spinning 180 so quickly. Haven't seen this one in a while. Tsurigoshi, hand on the belt. I feel like a lot of people get countered with Uranage trying this these days. But he really launched his opponent. Smashed him. Pauchuk Peter now. And a very well executed Sumigaishi. I love the direction he goes with too. Doesn't go straight behind him. Bit of an angle. Bit, bit of rotation in there. Nice transition here in the Nawaza. So White goes in for the throw. And then it doesn't look too good. But he just manages to stay really strong in the position. And how he turned this over is just a miracle. Bit of a textbook example of how to counter the Haraigoshi or the Uchimata. Just watch White's hands. They do touch the mat briefly. I think only one hand does. But Blue, he does a really good job to pick him up. And you have to catch people in the middle of the action to get a score there. This one, I mean, White almost lost it, but White gets the Ippon here. Watch his supporting foot, it's just crazy. He manages to get his leg back here, right there, and then explodes. Gets the score, incredible stuff. Really nice quick Juji now, from the Ashiwaza into the Juji. And this is the, the best thing about Judo and Newaza, in my opinion. These kind of transitions that people do. Jumping on on this right here. I mean, you got to recover from the throw, and then by you doing by the time you've done that, people are already on your arm or pinning you down. White looking for a skuinagi here, but you can see he's just compromised. His balance all, is all over the place. His right hand wasn't really doing anything at all. Just up, hanging up in the sky for some reason. Look at White's right arm up there. It's not doing anything, especially now. And gets countered. One of the few Uchimatas that we saw during the contest. And watch him open up the space. This is more Japanese like, if you ask me. Watch what he does with the hands. Opens up the space right here. Avoids that elbow, throws the hip in. Nice bit of Nawaza here. Gets the roll over. And this is for Straighten, very high level judoka. Going for the belt turnover now. And this is probably something he trains and works all the time. Looking to slide out that knee. Gets it. Knee against the hip. Into the Osaiko me. This next one, unfortunate for Malai. It almost looks like he's going to get a pin on Cass. And you see he rolls over here on Cass's arm, turns him over, and then he's got his head on his chest, but Cass, I mean, Cass knew the defense immediately for this. I'll show you again in slow motion. So the thing about the pin that Malaya was trying to do is you need your head on your opponent's chest. But Cass uses his foot and pushes Malai's head down, which frees up Cass's chest so he can turn, turn onto Malai. I think a lot of Lipatuliani's opponents probably could have used that information in a couple of contests against him. Lipatuliani always does that hold down. I wonder if he's got a defense to it as well. If you're curious, go down that rabbit hole, go into Judo Base, look up Lipatuliani's name, and just see all the epons that he's got with Nawaza. It's quite incredible. He is definitely the master of that pen. This is a pretty crazy Ochigari, because Blue only has one grip. You can see his top grip. Not holding anything here. Just all leg work, in my opinion. Really strong stuff with the legs. And would you know, this is the last one, guys. A little bit dangerous by Jalo here. Looks kind of dangerous on the leg. But still, a nice combination. He's really good at this sort of stuff. Anyway, guys, if you've made it this far into the video, please consider joining the channel. It would help me out a lot. Just dealing with all this copyright stuff, it's just something I would much rather avoid and just, you know, continue to make videos for you guys. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.